centenary of Anzac has passed. War and the experiences of our Anzacs etched in our nation's memory forever. Family stories may fade over time. Countless stories of war experiences, well, they remain. World War II, we remember the fall of Rabaul to the Japanese fought on the island of New Britain in the Australian territory of New Guinea and the fall of Singapore. 7,000 Australian soldiers, sailors and airmen died during the New Guinea campaign. We remember Australians and our nation's allies during the World War II Western Desert campaigns, nine months of continuous bravery and sacrifice at El Alamein, Egypt. We remember women at home that forged a national workforce. Your mother, grandmother, sister, or young girl who lived in your neighbourhood may very well have given her heart and soul to that workforce. We remember the bravery, heroics, suffering and enduring courage of women in war. Australian nurses who served during the decades of conflict and war, including present day Australian Defence Medical Reserve personnel serving in terrorised faraway lands. We remember those who were brutalised by war became prisoners of war and suffered unimaginable degradation of body, mind and spirit. They should also never be denied or forgotten. Let us also shoulder those who struggle with their emotions post-war, life-changing consequences of service and the physical and psychological effects that last beyond the battlefield. Vietnam War battles of 1969, we reflect on the 50th anniversary of courageous actions by the Australian and New Zealanders <coughs> in large scale fighting at Bin Bar, Operation Hamel, and Hat Ditch, Operation Goodwood, Phuc Thuy Province. 5th Battalion fought a communist main force in the village of Bin Bar, just five kilometres, <coughs> pardon, north of the Nui Dat Task Force. The battle involved fierce, close, house-to-house -house fighting. The Dawn Service. Verses three and four of Lawrence Binion's For the Fallen, recited by the RSL State President, Dr. Robert Webster. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, end in the morning, we will remember them. the Anzac. Yeah. This is what they fought under. It represents the imperial realm, the Christian faith that this country was constantly federated under. And with uh, Majesty Queen Victoria. Uh, since then we've had an erosion of our constitutional rights. And when Queen Elizabeth was coronated, she was coronated with a Catholic crown. And at the same time, Australia was taken and sent it across uh, North Australia and figuratively and literally created Australia itself. I was like, just like more of Australia. So we follow this to remember our Anzac, because our Anzac laid down their life 
to protect the Christian faith realm and the Commonwealth of Australia. Nice. Are you an activist? Would you like to see more people carrying this flag? We should be remembering the Anzacs every day. Every day. They are. Um, they are the reason why we're here. And we don't give you enough thanks. One, uh, one day, two days a year. Um, so, yeah, I'd like more people to know what it is, what it represents, not just a flight because it's red. This represents the Constitution, this represents common law, this represents unity of people. Do you, think that there's, do you think that there's a reason that we don't carry it anymore? Do you think that there's a reason that, that it's sort of dissipated over time? Do you think it was done on purpose? Do you think it's done because of time? Do you think it's, it's not as good looking? It's aesthetically? What, what's aesthetically, the... Aesthetically, it's beautiful. Yeah, mm. um, I would say that. It's much better. Um, why is the reason of its decline? Why, aren't, why don't we see it everywhere? Yeah, okay, so the constitution and the history of our country hasn't been taught since the early 70s. Um, the whole reason of this is to remember them, lest we forget. And that's what they keep telling us every day. Remember, 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 but no one does. Yeah, obviously I'm a, I'm a New Zealand soldier, or retired soldier. There's the NZ in Anzac. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And these are my, my campaign medals. Um, served in Bosnia and East Timor and some places. So um, they, they just they just tell my, my history of being in the service, you know, being in the army. Can you tell us about any of the specific ones? These, um, the first one is for the black and white one is for operational service, uh, service on operations. The UN medal, the second one there is, um, is service in, in Bosnia, uh, then service in East Timor, and uh, long service medal. Wow. Um, so 38 years in the army. And then um, our New Zealand service medal. What was your name, sir? Daryl. Daryl. Yeah, Daryl B. Thank you very much. No worries. Coming across the ditch. Oh, you know. <laughs>